baby. Come on. Yes. Come on. Five Nights of Freddy's fans, let's gather around. It is that one rare moment of the year where we get to sprinkle in some Five Nights of Freddy's movie news in our lives that isn't about a delay, a cancellation, change a director. It's not happening this time. All we gotta do this, it's good news for once. We could finally see this thing before our hair turns gray and at my age, I'm close. Or to quote Jason Blum. We are dangerously close, I will say that. We are dangerously director, close. Everything. I'm just saying we're, we're dangerously close wow. to, to more news. Dangerously close. Okay. By the way, dangerously close took several months, Mr. Blum. I'm gonna get you a thesaurus. What we have here to discuss, guys, is Jason Blum, the head of Blumhouse Studios, has finally given us a major update on the Five Nights at Freddy's movie that some were hoping was a lot bigger than it turned out to be, but still, it's a pretty great confirmation and it lets us know we're getting this movie pretty soon. I'm gonna be breaking down all the details involved with this here, but I'm gonna need you Five Nights at Freddy's fans to give me your opinions down below. How do you feel about this update? Is it worrisome? Because I think there is gonna be a conversation in that comment section of people like, why didn't they get this hard director that has made 10 great movies and has a really high paycheck that would take away from the budget of how Blumhouse makes their movies on the super cheap. It just wasn't gonna happen and we gotta face that reality. All right, so this all basically started with Jason Blum getting online and was teasing the heck out of fans, saying everybody, please stay tuned to Twitter, watch out, my timeline's gonna blow up, all this kind of stuff. You say things like that and you know Five Nights at Freddy's fans are in your section every time you comment something, but Jason Blum tweeted that and then left us hanging for several hours where fans were like, what's going on? Is this gonna be big news? People were even going crazy like, oh, he got the rights to Friday the 13th, he's got Nightmare on Elm Street, I was starting to believe those things. So then it made sense that whatever the news finally came out, people were a bit disappointed and were like, okay. But Jason Blum did let us know that the Jim Henson Creature Shop is working on our animatronics. That is something we already knew. Heck, a couple of weeks back, we got a photo of him in the Jim Henson Creature Shop where they were making some of the model scales for the upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's suits and animatronics. So that wasn't a big reveal to us. Plus, that was also announced way back when the movie was going to come out with Warner Brothers. So if anything, this was kind of old information. But it's still kind of cool to have them confirm that. And I'm really looking forward to what they're going to do with the Five Nights at Freddy's suits. Then here was a bombshell. Finally the director because now we know Christopher Columbus who did the first two Harry Potter movies left as a director a while back and now we know it's going to be Emma Tammy and first thing I did like much people run to IMDb and see what she's made and uh, let's just hope her pitch was amazing to Jason Blum and he was blown away because if we look at her credits she doesn't have a lot of work behind her she did make a movie called The Wind that was critically acclaimed by critics but was not very much enjoyed by audiences still that was just one piece of work. She also has another horror movie with Selena Gomez coming up called The Dollhouse. I'm sure that'll be nice and dandy, but at the end of the day, this to me screams a decision that Marvel even does to this day, where they hire new up-and-coming directors, hand them the reins to something really big, because they're gonna be a director that's easy to control. And with Five Nights at Freddy's, this is a franchise that has been suffering with one person overseeing it and controlling every little detail, which is why it's taken like 300 years for this thing to get off the ground. I never mean any disrespect when I say this, but Scott, who created the franchise, has it in the contract that he has final say on everything about this movie, which is why they've gone through so many scripts. It's the reason Warner Brothers dropped it and said, we don't wanna make this movie because you're not agreeing with anything and we had a great idea, Banana Splits type Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Look how much everyone loved it. Okay, Scott saved us from a bullet there. But then the same thing happened when he moved over to Blumhouse. They thought it was going to be easy going. They were going to get something good. And heck, even a year back, we heard he finally got a script that he was so happy with that they were going to start filming it. Then out of nowhere, we lost the director, we lost that script, and we started from scratch. Emma Tammy, unfortunately, is going to be someone because she's new up and coming. If she decides to make any major changes, Jason Blum and Scott can come in and go, ah, 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 ah. Which is the exact same thing Marvel has done with a lot of the directors they hire now for their upcoming movies. But we also got to look at the flip side about that because if this director, Emma Tammy, rocks it and she gives us the Five Nights at Freddy's movie that has been worth the wait, oh, she is going to have a fantastic career. And I think also Jason Blum knows that, that we have been waiting for this movie for so long. There's so much pressure behind it. I mean, he's annoyed with how much we bother him online with it. Because along with this update, he went ahead and said, Five Nights at Freddy's is more consistently asked about than any other film. 
film I've ever worked on, and I'm thrilled to confirm it's finally happening. Continuing on with Emma Tammy at the helm, we're committed to making Scott's vision of the movie come to life. Rest assured, it will be and is worth the wait. Those are some strong words, and Blumhouse is one of those studios that has produced some of the worst horror movies I've seen, and also some of the best horror movies I've seen. It's impossible to gauge which one this will be, but I have to imagine Emma Tammy struck gold with her pitch. She has a great idea, and that's what I'm gonna go with because I want this director to succeed because I can't imagine the hate she would get from these really active Five Nights at Freddy's fans if the movie doesn't go well. That would not be a position I'd want to be in because I can't even handle some of the hate comments y'all leave. So again, just kind of keep that mindset for all the comments down below that are like, we're Sam Raimi, we're Steven Spielberg, there's this super famous expensive ass director. But then the other bombshell that was dropped alongside this is filming on the FNAF movie will finally begin February 2023 when your boy will turn 28. Blum, please have this movie released before I'm 30. I was like fresh out of high school when this thing got announced and this is where we are right now. So again, this is exciting. This is awesome. It feels final. It feels like it's gonna be happening, but we heard this exact same thing not more than a year and a half ago. We had a director. We had a date that they were gonna start filming and that all came crashing down. I got a better feeling that this time around, it's finally gonna happen. They're treating it like it's a for sure thing. But like I said, it only takes Scott to have one bad coffee that morning and then he realizes... I don't like this script anymore, Blum. Change it. So now the big question a lot of people are asking is, okay, we have a director, we have a start filming date, where's this cast? Where is the cast and what is it gonna look like? If you're saving money then on the director and all this other stuff, who are you saving that money for? Is it for the effects or is it for the star power? My guess is they're probably gonna get like maybe two people that are very well known. Same thing that like Scream 5 did. They got actors that were sort of well known like Jenna Ortega, Dylan Minnette, and Jack Quaid. And then the rest of the cast was mainly up and coming people that have now become famous through other projects or heck that movie itself. In my mind right now, I just have no idea with what they're gonna go with. I have to think the story is gonna be faithful to the first three Five Nights at Freddy's games. That seems like the most common thing that they can adapt into a film but this movie's gonna need a body count it's gonna need people dying and they're not gonna really do that with kids so there's gonna be some teenager adult characters in there like the only person I can for sure see them casting is a William Afton but even that I have no idea who they would go with that would be the person to use your star power money with so William Afton will most likely be someone we know in Hollywood but then it's also gonna be a case of are we gonna give voice actors for a lot of these animatronics for Freddy Bonnie Chica and if they do will they be famous celebrities like they do with a lot of the animated movies and I'm still even on the fly with whether they'll make these things talk. To me, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't do that and just keep it to like mechanical movements and growls. Cause them talking works in the video game, but when you make a horror movie, I don't know if it works as well to have all of them talking and conversating. Again, I could be completely proven wrong, but if we get something like Chris Pratt is Freddy Fazbear, Come on. And that's what I mean. I feel like these things might not even talk and it'll just be simple noises. At the end of the day, I'm really happy we finally got some Five Nights at Freddy's news. This is awesome. I want to hear from you guys. You hear this update for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Are you happy it's finally going to start filming in February? That means we'll probably get casting in December, November. Start leaving your guesses of who you think it'll be. And when it's announced, if you guess it right, I'll mention you in that video update. Don't be forgetting to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.